Today, we're going to be doing two different trailer reactions. We're going to be doing the Superman and Lois trailer that came out a couple weeks ago that I haven't gotten around to uh, watch yet, as well as we're going to do the, I believe it's called the Young Rock TV show. It is actually going to be about Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock. Um, it's going to be a show about his life when he was younger. So I'm definitely excited for that. Um, as you guys, if you guys don't know, I'm a big wrestling fan. I've been watching ever since I came from Mexico. You know, I grew up with Eddie Guerrero and Mysterio, the beginnings of John Cena. Um, and then in the last couple of years, I've gotten back into it. Um, so it's something that I've always followed. So I'm very excited to see more of his stuff. Um, more than likely, it's going to be uh, produced by his uh, production company, I would bet. So we're going to start off with the Superman and Lois trailer. Now this show is a uh, CW show um, along with the likes of Arrow, Flash, Supergirl. Now I'm guessing this is why Supergirl was canceled. This will be uh, this upcoming season will be its last. I have a feeling they don't want to have two heroes with the same type of abilities in two different shows. You know, kind of negates the purpose of having one or the other. Why you watch one, you can watch the other one. You know, it's going to be too similar of a power set and maybe storylines um, to move forward with two different shows. I think that's why Supergirl got canned. I'm hoping that we see some of the characters from Supergirl cross over into uh, Superman and Lois. And that way we can see them more often. You know, we spent years investing in these characters. I'm hoping that um, they would uh, cross over. Frequently, at least, or at least uh, one time, just to kind of sum it all up. Uh, so we're going to get started with that here in a bit, and then we'll move on into the Young Rock. So it's only one minute long, so it's not too long. Um, so it's going to be very vague snippets, I bet. Alright, here we go. We all begin as one version of ourselves. But and I do know that he gets a new suit and we us. see his kids actually. Every moment shaping kids. our character. Shifting our priorities. Stretching every fiber of our being. Until we think we've lost ourselves to Oh, so they're again. older. But that's not true. Because under the torn fibers is a stronger person. Forged like steel. With the courage to fight for those we love. I have seen pictures of his new suit. And what we thought was lost badass. can be found in family. Superman and Lois. February 23rd. So, it looks like it's going to be very female oriented. You know, it looks like they're going to focus on uh, the sons a lot. Which I did not expect for them to be that old. If probably teenagers, you know, last we saw them in the Infinite Crisis, uh, they were babies. Um, so it looks like we will have a time jump or say or something may happen that speeds them up. Um, like I said, um, it is the same Super Superman and Lois that we've seen on Supergirl and the numerous crossovers now. So that's exciting to see them come back. Uh, he, like I said, he does get a new suit. Uh, which kind of reminds me of the new 52 Superman suit with the, I believe he even has the, like, the thumb with the hands and the thumb. So that's pretty badass. I always like that design. Um, and I'm also excited to see how they're going to intertwine Lois into this whole, um, into this whole show period. You know, is she just going to be a love interest or is she actually going to get her hands dirty? You know, is she going to be the Lois Lane reporter? Uh, you know, who, he, who gets hands-on and is willing to go, you know, uh, into the story no matter what it takes. So it'll be very interesting to see that as well. Alright, so give me one second to look up this other one. Alright, so next up we have The Young Rock, like I said. It's about Dwayne Johnson, The Rock's story when he was younger. I'm sure it's going to be about his life, so we're probably going to see this go for a couple of years so we see him grow up. Um, I'm not entirely sure how old to how old he's gonna go, but I'm guessing probably five years. Um, so let us get this started and see what we get from Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Every hero has an origin story, but not a full mustache. And 
It's the rocks. Okay, so he's pretty. He's pretty old. Tomas. Why'd you say your name was Tomas? Because it sounds way cooler than Dwayne. From then to now. Oh, we're gonna have it three different. When you dream big, the sky's the limit. I'll have your wow, that guy no. looks just Fine. like his dad. No. Young Rock, February 16th on NBC. Welcome back to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Holy Parade. Shit. Savannah, here comes the newest addition. It's a young <laughs> twin, The Rock Johnson, circa 1990. This balloon celebrates NBC's new comedy, Young Rock, which follows the wild times of Dwayne as a kid, a teen, and a college footballer. Oda, I can't <laughs> wait to see what kind of trouble Lil DJ got into. <laughs> Hard to imagine this guy was ever little. The fanny pack alone is filled with 50,000 cubic feet of helium. Incredible. <laughs> so I do like that we're gonna get three different faces in love when he was a young kid, a teenager, and then when he's in college. Um, it's like I said, whoever's playing his dad looks just like him. No, I'm glad that we we're gonna get to see not only the football aspect of his life, but some of the wrestling because of his father and his family uh, who all re who has wrestled before. So that's very exciting, you know. Um, one of my favorite mo recent movies as was, was uh, Fighting With My Family, which was a laugh about the WWE superstar Paige at Florence Poe, 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 I read her last name. Uh, and it was a really great movie. Um, not only was it a really great movie, it was a really, rest a really good wrestling movie. I'm excited to see more of this stuff and that, that you know, with actors like the Wynn Johnson, who, uh, John Cena now, who is being, you know, starring in so many different things now. Um, it's nice to see the nice blend and seeing some of their stories be told uh, that people not necessarily know just because, you know, they're not wrestling fans. But I'm very excited to see both of these things. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are you excited for? What do you want to see in these shows? Um, and until next time, may the force be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.